today we're making peanut noodles, which require peanut butter, which is made from peanuts. Not peanut butter, peanut butter. Not peanut butter, peanut butter. And certainly not these nuts butter, peanut butter. We'll start by making the peanut sauce, which begins with two tablespoons of liquid peanuts. I'm using the peanut butter that has only peanuts in it, which is a lie since there's also molecules, atoms, and even protons in this peanut butter, even though they don't have to legally disclose it. By the way, when you get a jar of this stuff and the oil is separated, don't use a spoon. Grab a fork and just start moving it up and down like you're churning butter or um, milking a cow. It's way easier than trying to move a spoon through it, but remember you shouldn't be doing this if you're participating in No Peanut November. Now add one teaspoon of liquid soybeans, turning this peanut butter into soy nut butter. Then we'll add in a half tablespoon of rice vinegar, which turns it into soy nut butter rice. Then we'll add in a half to one full teaspoon of sesame oil, which turns it into soy nut butter rice. Then we'll add a half teaspoon of sugar, which makes it soy nut butter rice sugar. Then we'll add two chopped cloves of garlic, which turns it into soy nut lick butter rice sugar. Then we'll add in a teaspoon of liquid chili, which turns it into soy nut butter lick butter rice girly. Now we'll wang jangle that all together, keeping in mind that peanut noodle variations sometimes have fish sauce, sometimes have oyster sauce, sometimes have black vinegar, and sometimes have marinara sauce. I mean, I can't confirm that, but there's 8 billion people on the planet. I'm sure it's been done, so don't shoot the messenger. And take comfort in the fact that it was frowned upon by at least two cultures. You'll end up with this peanut sludge, which we'll add water to later, so for now, just stay calm. Now I'm going to use these wide flat noodles, which are perfect for this dish because they're noodles and noodles are great. We'll throw them into this pot of angry water and they'll turn from solid into palatably bendy in around six minutes. A quick hack you can do if you don't have noodles is to take a piece of white bread, cut off the crusts, slice it into strips, then roll each one of those strips tightly into a noodly shape. Brush lightly with olive oil and put them in your pan on medium heat. Once they're lightly toasted but not too toasted, you can let them cool off on a plate and then eat them, which will give you enough energy to go to the store and buy noodles. Now we'll prepare some toppings. We're going to power stone crush some peanuts so we can have them in both liquid and solid form. You can also vaporize peanuts and blow it all over the noodles if you really want to cover your peanut state bases. We're going to chop some green onions, also known as longions. Now I'm new to the world of chili crisp and oh my god, what I thought was just a pile of chilies that was going to burn my face off turns out to be chilies with shallots and garlic that burned my face off. This is basically hot sauce candy, and I highly recommend making this a huge problem in your life. Nudes are done. We'll throw out that bath water, then throw the nudes back into the pot. Now we'll add two to three tablespoons of hot water, turning our peanut sludge into soy nut malik butter rice garlitter. And now we'll pour it all over the nudes and wang jangle that together. Then pour those into our bowl, sprinkle on our peanuts and longions, spoon on that chili crisp, and you end up with this masterpiece. There are variations of peanut noodles from Thailand, Singapore, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, and other countries, but they all have one thing in common. They will ruin Ruin your life. Because now, congratulations, you've got a peanut noodle addiction, and it's going to haunt your every waking moment forever.